All right, let me introduce you. All right, so please put your hands together for our amazing tour guide, Kwabana. Thank you, uh, Yajesi. Uh, I don't call her Pep, I call her Yajesi, because that's her name. Yes, true. Yajesi. My name is Kobuna Beckham, but because my parents were Christians, they gave me the name Charles. Uh, God told me to come to the earth on Tuesday, so I was given Kobuna a Tuesday born. I am a freelance tour coordinator and tour guide. I have a degree in tourism. Apart from tourism, I have a, a farm and then I raise chicken as well. I have a Moringa farm. I'm trying to get about 20 acres, but currently I have five but we are, it's an ongoing uh, the rate, uh, uh, certain stage very soon it will be matured in this world it is good to have a mentor someone will ask how come that you get into tourism because I was working as an officer and at the end of every month they pay me and I'm so happy and then you have to tell yourself I don't want this money anymore I want to go and try and get my own money do my own business um, as someone who has a vision I have a passion in tourism and uh, I take people out, I don't charge them. Sometimes I organize children, let's go to this place. I have no knowledge about the, uh, the history, but I take children there, talk this, do that, do that, and children are happy. And I love children. That is why I can handle this guy. Hey, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> there was this man who saw me and then the man just liked me one day say, you know what, I like you. What I want to tell you is that come out of the service and take tourism courses. I said, why? He said, yes, because you are very good in tourism. I said, no, I love children. He said, no. Just put an end to it and then go and take tourism courses. He even have to go and pay for me to get my uh, forms. He bought the forms for me and then he pay half of my uh, school fees for that term. So I started schooling. And gradually, gradually, I was able to come out with a degree in tourism. Every mentor, I see mentors as a key. In security, we ask, what is a key? A key is a stronghold. What is a stronghold? A stronghold is wherever your heart is. If your money is in your pocket, yeah. it's your stronghold. Yeah. If your money is in your hand, it's your stronghold. And it's a key. That money is a key. That key can open every door. And that is how mentors are. This man spoke into my life mm. and he gave me the key mm -hmm. to open, unlock it. Yeah. He just gave me a first thing. And now here I am in tourism. One thing that he told me is that be a freelance. Be freelance, never be employed by any company. There are a lot of companies who want to employ me, who want to pay so much, but I said no. Somewhere 2007, I did a work for a company. I never knew Bumani. And then uh, this company came and hired me to take Bumani and the group out in 2007. And uh, from that time up to now, uh, in fact, after that, 2007, 2008, Bumani requested for me that I need this guy to do this job for me. And then they called me that. This man said, he need you to do this. I said, okay, no problem. I went and did it for you. 
And from that time up to now, I still work with Gomani. So thank you so much. Um, some people said I'm a historian, but I'm not a historian. I learned it. And I love history. I love tradition. I love customs. And I always like to tell people about tradition, customs, um, uh, history, wherever I find myself. So you are welcome to Ghana. And I know you are going to be good ambassadors for this country. Whatever you have received, whatever experience that you have, when you go back, let the people who don't know anything about Africa change their mind, change their thinking, and let them also come back to experience this wonderful country. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you. God bless yeah. you, Governor. Now, yeah. I know you all have lots.